A very pleasant good night, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Well, once again, this is your little Christian brother, Eric Braxton, speaking to you all from his beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago, the land of my nativity, the land of my birth, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country that is in the Blue Caribbean Sea. Speaking to you all in the month of October, responding to my atheist friends in the United States of America, Don Baker, Eric Murphy, Jen Jenna, Bells, Oblique, or B E L K, and Matt from the ATS Experience call in program on YouTube. That click. I just want to let you all know, I want to teach you all and let you all know. My atheist brothers and sisters that nothing cannot come out of nothing if you all believe that the universe came out of nothing or you all have it wrong because if I come any and tell any of you all Don Barker and Eric Murphy that this cell phone came out of nothing you all will see this little Christian boy Eric Braxton is crazy. Leave Trinidad and TV go to come quite up there in Texas. That's to tell us the cell phone come out of nothing. When we know the manufacturer make the cell phone, people make the cell phone because they have a company making cell phone and many companies making cell phone in China, Japan and America and other places. And you all what you all are saying is right. You all accept that, but deny. You all accept there's a manufacturer making the cell phone, all right? Because you know the cell phone is intelligently designed. But when I come, uh, when I, but if I tell you all, you all accept that. But when I tell you all, the universe then creates itself. It is God who created the universe because the universe is intelligently designed. You all now telling me that I what I say is foolishness, and there's no evidence of God. On there is evidence of the cell phone because there's a manufacturer made it. Well, the one who created the moon, the stars, there's the evidence of that. And the evidence is God. He made the universe. He created the universe. So these things come from God, the mind of God. Yes. God is a being, a spirit being. And he, he think about the moon. He, he, he formed the moon in his mind, the planets in the mind, and he speak it into existence. He done design fashion in the mind and he speak it into existence. That is how God do. He speak things in, the, in existence because he had the supreme power to do it. Yes. You see, God is a God with power. God is not a God with power. The Bible tells us God possesses. He's the omnipotent, all-powerful God. So he has power to do these things. Yes, all the things God is that's God and has no power. You know how big the earth is? Matt and Eric Murphy and... um. Dan Barker, take a map book and try to find out how much, at last book and try to find out how big this earth is. And it had Jupiter and, and Jupiter and Mars and these planets is all four or five times bigger than the earth. But if you look at this earth, you see how big this earth is. Imagine God's this thing a thought in his mind and speak this gigantic ball of matter that we stand in into existence. The power to do that, you know. This God have power, you know. And then again, to know that he create planets up there bigger than the earth and different galaxy. Oh, that's a marvel, marvelous. Power to do that, you know. Now, if somebody don't have power, they cannot do that. Ah, oh, he's so powerful, God is just thinking a thought. And speak these planets, these big gigantic matter into existence. That is power. And that is the God we're dealing with. That's the God I'm dealing with. That's the God that exists, but I know you all scientists will want to accept that. <laughs> they can't accept that. Fine, how come how, how my being can do that? Well, if eventually they will get to know that and do process of time. <laughs> but on all scientists, because it has scientists who is Christians already accept that according to the Bible, but are talking about those scientists who don't believe in that. Eventually they will come to find out that in due time. When they stand before God. <clears throat> but for now, I want you all to let you know that nothing cannot come out from nothing, my dear friend.
So this is how it's the, the cell phone maker, it's the moon maker which is God. This is how it's the fan maker, it's the one who created the universe which is God. And I hear you saying, Matt, that you are not convinced that there is no God. Well, you could be talking that talk all the time, but you will not stop. God is already in existence and he created the universe and the physical evidence is right in front of your face to prove that God exists. I want you to know that, my dear friend. So in spite of all what you are saying, the truth remains the truth and you will not change it. So I'm simply saying, and that is the example that you all are setting, want to turn people into atheists to make them become God, non, make them become atheists, not to believe in God. You all are not setting a good example. That is a bad example. And as I said, let me remind you that atheist experience will not benefit none of you all. Neither all the converts that you all are converting to become atheists like all yourself. Because as I tell you all, the little children who are growing up believing in God and the mommy and daddy taught them about God and they believe in the Bible and all the Bible stor true stories that the mother took the Bible, the mother and father took time and, and, and allowed their sons and daughters to sit down with them and teach them the stories about the ark, about the creation, about the birth of Jesus Christ. Matt, Eric Murphy and Dan Barker and Janet Bells, if you all go in the village in Texas, amongst these little children who grew up in Christianity, knowing about Jesus Christ, and you all meet these children and go and tell them that Jesus Christ doesn't exist. That there is no God. There is no God. The little children will not accept what you all are saying. Because they know mommy and daddy told, told them about, to, talk to them about the Bible and they know the Bible is true. So you, you all will not be setting a good example to the children. And if you go, any of you all go in any school to, to teach the children, what will you all teach the children? What role mother will you all be to the children? The children need to know about God. They need to know that that um, God created them and God made them and God loved them and God cared for them and this world was created by God. Then the children need to know that. But when you all go and tell the children there is no God, the children will not grow up godly righteous children fearing God. They will not respect their parents. When the scriptures teach us to respect our parents, the children will grow up disobedience. In other words, when you all teach the people there is no God, you all are you all are telling the people to become lawless, you know? Yes, you all are telling the people to become lawless. Because people will have no fear for God. And therefore they will look to take up, they will look to go and do all sorts of crime. When they hear that God doesn't exist, then they will say, well, I, I could do what I want. I don't have to give account to God. I could go and do all sorts of things. So, in other words, you all are teaching lawlessness. And that exactly. And that's why I want to bring that to the fore. To bring that all your mind, all your attention. You all are teaching lawlessness. Yes. You all are teaching lawlessness. And therefore, I'm simply telling you all. That atheist experience cannot benefit none of you all. It's the God experience, the true Christian experience, the God experience will benefit mankind, will benefit one and all because God exists. That's a true experience, not no atheist experience. I want you all to know that because you see the true God experience is noble, is decent, is just, is good, is moral. It's full of physical and spiritual transparency. transparency. It is of edification. It is spiritual, it is divine, it is wonderful, it is of God, it is spiritual. But that atheist experience, it is not noble, it is not good, it is not moral, it is lawlessness, it is ugliness. That atheist experience is a bad experience. 
And I want you all to know that, and therefore I'm teaching you all that. Yes, I'm teaching you all that. This little Christian boy, Eric Braxton, we don't in Trinidad and Tobago. I'm recording these videos and bringing that truth to you all mind. Whether you all accept it or reject it. Or whether you all say Eric Braxton is on total nonsensical foolishness. Or what he's saying doesn't make sense. And you all reject everything I see and flush it down the toilet. Choo, 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 choo. And say we are time with Eric Braxton, man. Who you think he is? He talking to us American this way. Whether you all be Americans or German or Russian, I am telling you all the truth. Yes, yes. To sit in that studio in, in Texas and want to puff up all the chess. Puff up all the chess and want to play, want to play high and mighty. Yes. And mocking God words and criticizing God and making fun of God and saying, uh, but accept the creation, but do not want to accept a creator who created creation. Yes. Having a big charade in Texas. Having a big charade and this atheist experience. What atheist experience? That experience cannot benefit no one. Because it's not benefiting you all. You all think it's benefiting you all. You all need, all of you all are only deluding all yourself. And I'm bringing you all to that reality. You all only deluding all yourself. And I'm bringing that reality to you all. You all are only deluding all yourself on that show. You, Eric Murphy, Janet, Bell, my, my sister, and Matt, and Dan Baker. You all are only deluding all yourself and the rest of all the colleagues. It is colleagues that come from the show to join you all from time to time. You all are only deluding all yourself. You all, need, you all need to wake up to the true reality. The God reality. Yes, that's what you all need to wake up to. And become aware of that. And become conscious of that. And embrace that and hold that. And let it become part and parcel of you all. Of all the life, mind and soul. Yes, you all need to do that. And the only how you all can become aware of that. Is by accepting the Bible. From Genesis to Revelation. The words of God. Yes. They will start from. I can assure you all that. It starts from there my dear friends. I can assure you all that. <laughs> You all need to deal with the true experience, the God experience. That 88 experience is not no true experience. That's a false experience. And I'm telling you all that. This little Christian boy, Eric Braxton, I'm telling you all that. I'm teaching you all that. I want you all to know that. Whether you all reject what I said, you all will not change your truth. Yes, I want you all to know that. Perfectly a full 100%. My brothers and sisters, and I'm telling you all of you all that in the love of Jesus Christ so that you all will eventually renounce that atheist experience and humble yourself and accept Jesus Christ and humble yourself then and accept the true experience which is a God experience and accept what the Bible says. Yes, you all need to reach at that stage. And then all the humble yourself first and become like little children. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, my dear friends. Yes, my dear friends. Shashulam peace. See you all in the v next video soon. I have much to discuss with you all in other videos to come. Shalom peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.